Hi guys, in this video you'll learn how to create a skyscraper in Blender 2.8. Won't be using any add-ons, just pure modeling only. So we start off with a cube, but uh, first off we need to measure the height of an average floor of a skyscraper, which is about 3 meters on average. So I use the measure tool and measure around 3 meters. Then I position the cube uh, and uh, scale it so that it fits the height of 3 meters. Then I add a loop cut to start defining the frames of the uh, window. So I just add one loop cut by hitting Ctrl R right down the middle and then just uh, move it all the way to the edge. Now I only need to do one side only, the horizontal side and the vertical side. This will represent our window frame. I also add a small window frame area for the uh, just the lower part of the window there. And then I uh, on the side view, I turned down the thickness of the window frame. So we're just now starting to define what the window frame looks like. So now I go into face select and select the part where the window is going to be and then just extrude it in a little bit. So there's some now stray edges that are left behind by doing that. So I just go ahead and delete those ones. And we're left with something that looks like this. Now it looks odd with that with the window frame not having the top and the side area with it. But since we're going to add an array modifier, that will cover it up for us. So in the shading settings, I just turn on cavity uh, and turn up the ridges and valleys so that we can see everything a little bit better. So now I go ahead and add an array modifier. And as you can see, the window frame now looks more complete. I also duplicated an extra window frame to the side because I want to use that later on. So turning up the array modifier, uh, I turn the count to about 8 since I want my uh, floor to be around 16 windows long. So the reason why I chose 8 is because later on I'm going to go ahead and use the mirror modifier. So now I go ahead and set up the materials as well for the window. Right now I'm just putting placeholder materials. And I just select the part uh, where the big window and create one material for that and then the small window and create a separate material for that one as well. I then go ahead and select the edges of the window frame and add a little bit of a bevel by hitting Ctrl B just uh, to smooth things out a little bit. So once that's done, I go ahead and apply the array modifier. And then I pretty much uh, duplicated and uh, rotated 90 degrees to fit the other corner of the skyscraper. So this is where the extra skyscraper comes in handy. So I go ahead and apply the same materials to this one as well. I should have done that earlier. And then I also forgot to add the materials to the back of the uh, windows as well. So I just did the same thing. The reason why is because we want the window to be see-through. So the window will have a bit of thickness in the glass. So now I rotate the extra pane exactly 45 degrees. And then position it to uh, fit the corner of the skyscraper. I do the same to the other side as well. So now we have one complete corner done. So now I go ahead and join uh, all the objects into one mesh by uh, selecting all and then hitting Ctrl J. So now from top view, you'll notice that the center point is right in the middle of the Blender world uh, on the green and the red axes. So I move the mesh so that it doesn't intersect with the green or the red line. The reason why is because I'm going to go ahead and add a mirror modifier right now. And you can see there's a bit of a gap there. So now we can move it and make it click into place. Make sure you turn clipping on. In the mirror modifier, also tick the Y. So that will complete the full skyscraper. And then uh, in the side view, go ahead and make a click into place, but go ahead and move it further in uh, so that you get a window length of about two boxes, since that's the average uh, length of the window. Make sure clipping is turned on. Now we can create the floor of the skyscraper. So for that in edit mode, I'm going to go ahead and add a cube, turn down the thickness. And then position it uh, all the way so that it clips right in the middle. So now just select the corner uh, verts and then just drag it out to fit the entire floor. 
At this point we have a little bit sticking out of the window of the corner area of our skyscraper. So I simply just add loop cuts in the, the cube uh, and then just simply uh, delete the corner verts. Now just fill up the uh, missing part uh, so that it matches the uh, skyscraper windows. I don't show it here but I also recommend you duplicate that floor and also create the ceiling as well. So next I add an array modifier, turn off the X uh, to 0 and then turn the Y to 1 to create the floor for the uh, skyscraper and then turn off the count to create as much floors as you want. I think I end up choosing something like 35 or 40 to be around the size of the average skyscraper. So now position the camera and we finally have our final skyscraper. So now it's just a matter of playing around with camera angles and making it look as uh, epic as possible. Now I went ahead and added a HDRI image uh, as the uh, world texture. So I went to, for the color I went to environment texture and just added the HDRI image. And then added a multiply and add node to increase the strength of the sun and the sky lighting. Now I went ahead and played around with the materials of the uh, skyscraper. For the window frames, it was just a dark blue color with the metallic almost turned all the way to one and roughness turned uh, almost to zero. For the windows, the transmission was set to one and uh, the roughness went almost all the way to zero. I did the same thing for the, uh, the smaller window as well, but I just made the, the base color of the window a bit of a darker blue. So I just went ahead and played around with some settings of EV, turned up the bloom, turned up the ambient occlusion and so on. But my final render actually ended up being a cycle render. So this is what my cycles render looks like, which is looking quite epic. So this is where I went ahead and duplicated the ceiling to create the roof as well. So that also mirrored onto the uh, roof part as well. At this point you can pretty much call your skyscraper done that's pretty much all you need to do it's a very simple skyscraper but uh, I, I wanted to make it look a little different a bit more reflective I didn't want to see uh, much of the inside I also played around with different skylighting I didn't quite like the look I was getting from the uh, skyscraper windows. So I just continued playing around with the settings of the principal shader and I don't know, I didn't really quite find the look that I wanted to get. Just ended up looking quite odd. Try turning the clear coat up. I try turning some roughness up as well. Even played around with the colors.
Eventually, I didn't quite like the look I was getting uh, from the principal shader and I changed to a plain old glossy shader mixed with a glass shader. I think I like the look of that instead. With this shader I can sort of see inside the building, but I want it to be mostly uh, reflective rather than see-through. So at this point I started to adjust a different camera angle. I added a vector mapping node and a texture coordinate node to uh, rotate the world a bit. Move the sun uh, so that we can see a bit of sunlight and the reflection of the sunlight in the skyscraper. Eventually I got the look that I liked. I then played around with some of the settings and I think I also ended up uh, duplicating the existing building to create a bit more visual interest. Further playing around with the settings, I finally managed to create a final render of the skyscraper and added some compositing effects like lens distortion and color grading to create something that looks like this. Hope you liked the video and thanks for watching.